Composer Tools Pro comes with a plugin called MK Recall Send, which makes setting up recall in Pro Tools incredibly simple. But before we begin, we need to take care of one thing, and that is we need to change Composer Tools Pro's recall message from controller 127 down to controller 119. And that's simply because in Pro Tools, controller numbers 120 to 127 are actually reserved for the system, and so Pro Tools is just going to filter them out. So in Composer Tools Pro, tap and hold the menu button and swipe on over to Prefs. Go to the Recall tab and change the Recall Output CC from 127 down to 119. All right, so here in Pro Tools, I have just a very simple project with a single instance of contact, with some sample libraries loaded up, and of course, all of the MIDI tracks to control each of the instruments, just like a standard orchestral MIDI composing setup. So let's actually create an instance of the MK Recall Send plugin. Go up to Track, New, and we're actually going to create a new instrument track because MK Recall Send is actually an instrument type plugin because it receives MIDI just like Contact receives MIDI. You don't have to worry about mono or stereo because MK Recall Send doesn't output any audio at all. So I'll just leave it as mono and create. Let me just drag it up to the top here under Contact to keep things nice and organized, which is always good. And in fact, let me rename the track to MK Recall Send 1 because we may want to have more than one instance of MK Recall Send if we have more than 16 instruments, which of course most of you probably do in your orchestral compositions. And of course we go to Inserts, Plugin, Instrument, and Create MK Recall Send. If you don't see the plugin here in the list, just make sure you've installed it correctly into the Pro Tools Plugins folder. So you can see that the plugin has 16 slots for each of the 16 MIDI channels. When the plugin receives the recall message on one of the channels, it converts it to the program change message next to it, and then it sends it off to MK Connect, which then broadcasts it to all of the connected tablets that are running Composer Tools Pro. So let's see what program change message we need for this first track. Let's head over to Composer Tools Pro and check out the directory. And I see this first preset needs program change 10 on channel 2. So back in MK Recall Send, I'll set the conversion to channel 2 and program 10. And now all we have to do is send MIDI to MK Recall Send on channel 1. But of course, there's a little trick here because we're already sending MIDI to contact on channel 1 to control our actual virtual instrument. And we don't want to lose that, so what we have to do is send MIDI to two places, both to Contact Channel 1 and to MK Recall Send Channel 1. And in Pro Tools, this is very easily done. You can just hold down Control on Mac or the Windows key on Windows while you're making the selection. So I'm on a Mac now, so I'll hold down Control and select MK Recall Send Channel 1. And that's it. So you can see now that MIDI is being sent both to Contact Channel 1 and to MK Recall Send Channel 1. So let's give it a try. And it works. So let's quickly do another one now that we've seen how this is all set up. Let's go back to Composer Tools Pro and check out the directory. And I can see the next track needs program change 11 on channel 2. So back in Pro Tools, I'll go to MK Recall Send. And under the next input channel, I'll set channel 2 and program number 11. One more little tip here, if your recall addresses are all sequential like this, you can actually enable auto increment. And what that's going to do is make the plugin automatically increment all the remaining program numbers for you, which can really help to speed up this whole process. All right, and we'll do the little trick again. Hold down Control on Mac or the Windows key on Windows and select MK Recall Send Channel 2. And that's it. Let's give it a try. All right, so you can just work your way through your template like this, sending MIDI both to your virtual instrument and to MK Recall Send. And of course, you can create as many instances of MK Recall Send that you need to handle all of your MIDI tracks. And that's all there is to setting up recall in Pro Tools.